three, <laughs> two, five, six, seven, eight, seven, three, fourteen. Oh. <laughs> Is that is that actually the st we're actually we're actually going with that we're actually starting with this oh my god welcome to the masturbate podcast this is one of the best I'm why am I standing up what the fuck is going on today we're all pretty we're all pretty rowdy class is started Max you're losing just a full it, this looks like this might be one of the most fucked podcasts we've had yet this uh, just talking in the past few minutes we have I don't think we've ever had this much energy um, so this really might be sick. I think we're all losing our minds due to the coronavirus so it's a couple of guys dicking around Angus Walsh howdy Lachlan we are the virus. Jacob <laughs> yo Sam salutations Liam <laughs> Jenny. <laughs> Jen Jenny. Hello. Ah, uh, Daniel. Hi. Uh. Brian. Oh. <laughs> Renee. Hi. Hey, Oscar. Oh, uh, dude. Oh, bro, and it's bloody new guest Steve K. It's it's Steve. Jeez. How you going, Steve? I've asked it three weeks in a row. I'm becoming real polite on this podcast. <laughs> it's almost too polite. Almost too polite, you reckon? Maybe, maybe... Turn it down. Turn Bring, it down. Yeah. Bring it down. Bring it down? Alright, fuck you, Steve. You're the worst person Abuse I've ever me. met fuck in my life. life. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, I, from what I've gathered, nobody really give, gives a fuck about you or your existence, but can you, like, can Max. you, can, can you, like, tell us just a, a small bit about yourself Max. and why, like, even, even though I, I don't know if you'll be able to even get one scrap of information of why anyone should give a shit about your existence, can you, like, just, can, can you let us know? Like, do the best you can. You know, really put yourself out there today. Well, joke's on you. I'm convinced no one should give a shit about me, so. Wow. <laughs> what a, uh, like you. Wow. I don't know. What a question. Why? Why should anyone give a shit about me? Yeah. Uh. Also, who are I've you? Go Fuck, that's a tricky question. Yeah. Um. We ask the hard questions on this podcast. You know how many hours of fucking logged into. I don't know. Fucking Animal Crossing in the last week. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I don't, yeah. Steve. Yeah. Including fast time. Uh, fucking time traveling. <laughs> Sorry, I just. Uh, it's not, it's not, sorry, it's just a <laughs> so it's just a natural <laughs> reflex. <laughs> sorry, it's whenever I probably. whenever I hear scum, I just you know, <laughs> I can't contain my shit. Traveling is okay. <laughs> um, no, I do. I'm genuinely convinced no one should give a shit about me. So next question. You, you do you do do things for Neil Kolhatka, as does Daniel and I. That's Neil has Neil has people. Yeah, Neil, Neil Funny Man, yeah. <laughs> Neil Funny Man, good man. It's a, a beautiful analysis yeah. of you. I'm, I'm, his, I'm, his, I'm his editor, and yeah. I make funny sometimes, if they're funny. Um, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, fuck, I've never, I don't know, did not prepare for this question at all. Fair enough, just, just gaming your way into this podcast, it seems. <laughs> Such a gamer move. Yeah. 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 I like this gamer out right of here. <laughs> but but Steve, uh, did, what do you think of that theme, Steve? I like it. Who made it? That I made that. I did all that myself, Steve. That was fucking rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> First maybe maybe change Max. the like all of it. It was all fun. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, any like artistic suggestions there, Steve? Yeah. Um. Play it again. Huh? <laughs> Play, Play it again. again. Yeah. Nah. Stop. 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 Every nah. It's all fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't know where to begin. It seems. Just replace it with Daniel's rap. <laughs> yeah. But could but, use a freestyle over that. <laughs> other than um, other than your your strong negative beliefs towards my theme, what's what's something that's been like on your mind recently, Steve? Something that's like bothering you? Something that's just going through your brain? You know what what's going on in the land of Steve? Um, dude, I I pretty much like I'm not working at the moment, so shit's good right now. Um, and by good uh, I mean not very fucking busy. Mm. So thus the Animal Crossing hours. But um, uh, fucking I don't know. It's a weird time right now, and uh. You know, I don't want to, like, delve into fucking coronavirus talk because it's all anyone's talking about, but I don't know. I'll, up to you guys if you want to dabble into it, but it just seems like 
everything is just very a bit mad right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this fucking everyone talking about coronavirus is getting so old. It's like, <laughs> I fucking it's like, hate it. Can we get some new life? Like, right it's literally <laughs> like that morning everyone woke up on 9-11 and there was no fucking cartoons on. It was just all news. <laughs> It's like that, except it's like honestly, like bring back the fucking cartoons, right? Yeah, exactly. I'm so sick of hearing about coronavirus. I get it. Bring Let's back bring back yeah. SARS. Let's like, just get SARS back in here. <laughs> I, I was I was walking with a friend today at a two meter distance, as I'm a responsible human being, and they they like said this like technical like graph thing about like coronavirus is like they want to stop the curve or something and i was like what the fuck does that yeah. mean now like you don't watch what the news the what's going on I it's it's like the the thing was that uh do i even want to explain it it's just like it's a high curve low curve pe people Black want curve. to uh make it so it's not like a spike because if there's like a spike in cases um medicare like the people won't be able to yeah, the like the won't work yeah, yeah the, curve, the curve is the Flatten amount of the people curve is what in hospitals said. getting treated, and mm. because there's a lot of people, there's a higher curve. So yeah. if we make the curve flatter by distancing it out and not catching the coronavirus and doing all we can to be safe, there's less people in the hospitals, which means there's less stress and more hospital beds are open to people who need them. Yeah, but the thing yeah. is, it also means it's going to last longer. Oh, this is a but, like, yeah. I, I feel like it's okay oh. that I don't know that, you know? I'm hardly going out. I've I've gone out, the only time I've gone out in the past week was today, to just walk with that friend. Like, I don't need to be spending my time looking at that depressing fucking information, you know? Like, I'm not putting myself in, in the way of people who have, well, other than the walk I went on, but, you know? <laughs> I, I feel like it's just unnecessary. We don't need to make every single thing. I don't want to turn in, tune into a podcast. I don't want the intro just to be people talking about coronavirus. I think that's really uncalled for, to be honest. Alright, no more So, moving on. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, Steve. Yo. What's your opinion? What's the news, Matt? Yeah. <laughs> Apart from coronavirus. You said you are playing a lot of Animal Crossing? Yeah, dude, that's that's about it, dude. Honestly, like, I'm just trying to find a new routine for myself now that I'm not working. Mm. And um, so I guess, like, I don't know, coming up with lists and shit of shit to do, I guess, after Corona time. And that's about it, really. Fair so that, enough. That's, that's really all that's going on right now is it's just very weird right now. I think um, I've graduated as well last year, so... Oh, what did you do? Well, technically this year, I got my diploma, um, or not diploma, bachelor's, um, this, uh, like, this month, so I'm trying to figure out what the fuck to do with it now in these times, and, uh, it's, it's just a bit weird. What you get your bachelor's in? Uh, in film, so disappointing my parents. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Oh, who else is doing film? Me. Nice. Yeah, well, there's but a lot I of people. I equipment this sim, so... <laughs> There's really no point. That's fair. That's fair. I know people that are still going to film school and, you know, just, yeah, there's really no fucking point if you can't get hands-on with anything and work in yeah. groups. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The Zoom classes just don't work. <laughs> Teamwork yeah. makes the dream work. That's uh, As a wise man once said. A wise one. Mm. Who said that? I believe Liam's the first person oh. to ever say that, actually. Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's just placebo. I'm thinking exact moment. that another great mind like me exists. Cracking open a cold one, playing we fit. <laughs> what? Liam, how many days was it since you last played your Wii Fit? You sent me the Oh, photo. that photo. Oh, that was over three three thousand days. But um, now it's now I'm playing it every day. Bruh, is it is it actually? I'm getting I'm getting those gains like Wii Fit trainer. Damn. Yeah, but how's your balance? What a hottie. How's your balance, oh, ba balance. Uh, let's not talk about that. That's that's very personal. <laughs> Posture is everything. Do they working up a sweat? No, he's he can't work up a sweat when he's staying cool with all those cold beers. Yeah. <laughs> Smart man, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Big brain. Improvise, adapt, overcome. <laughs> yeah. I believe Angus is the anything? first person who said that as well. <laughs> How's your daily routine been like, Steve? Um I guess like every day I've just been brainstorming new ideas, so and I I've I've been trying to hold that every day, at least half an hour each day. I'm pretty happy. Like it's it's actually working. Um, 
but it's fucking tough. Like a lot of the time, uh, you just sort of stare at a computer screen, not coming up with anything. So I still count that as brainstorm time. But for what it's worth, um, you know, I'm trying to force myself into that zone more often. Oh, yeah. Um, like the thoughts more there. Of... So. Yeah, I guess, I guess. Um, but it's it's tricky because you know I'm just building ideas till after Corona time, like I said. But then you know I leave it sitting for a few days and then I hate it. Like the next, you know. Well, few but, days uh, or something are so there I'm any afraid. ideas which like um, you you set on at the moment? Um. I made a short film last year for my grad pre- for my grad piece, and I want to do a spin off of that. Um, basically, it's a dark comedy about clowns, and uh, I'm trying to make a Joker too. Um, a spin off of that about a mime, basically ah. who just lives a piece of shit kind of life uh, in an apartment, and um, just sort of tries to carry through. Uh, you know, I guess I guess his tradition of being a mime. You know, he's the only one in his sort of tribe that actually, you know, doesn't live like a person, but like a mime 24 seven. So it goes to sleep, mm. you know, in his mime outfit and everything, doesn't take his makeup off or anything. Um, so sort of trying to figure skin? out the, hey, it's it part of his skin. skin. It's good like... for his skin, yeah. That's Not as good as these <laughs> vitamin C <laughs> gummies, baby. <laughs> Where's that, dude? My mom's still getting sick. <laughs> 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 I feel like I miss vitamin C. I never got those gummies. I've never had those vitamin C gummies. I remember like, out. Oh, they're lit. They go to I... houses and they're kind of like, malicious. Yeah. See, people have <laughs> had the vitamin. I've had the fish oil gummies, like those. Like, yeah. Those gummies, nah, yeah. Not, as, not as good. <laughs> yeah. I'm like yeah. a bear, mate. I'm having salmon every day. <laughs> they're, not even, they're not even gummies, they're just fish oil tablets. <laughs> just yeah. eat. No, I got the gummy <laughs> ones. Gummy like the the <laughs> it's not even tablets, it's just fish oil. Yeah, <laughs> straight fish oil. I've just been drinking brain, bro. every day. Oh, oh. <laughs> rev it, Tony, rev it, you know? <laughs> uh, St- Steve. Yeah? I have another theme for you. I have <clears throat> another one. Yeah, are you ready for this theme? I'm ready. <laughs> is that it? That was that was the theme, yeah. Play it again. <laughs> <laughs> the circle jerk. Mm. Uh, one more time. One more, one more time. Just letting it sit. <laughs> the circle jerk. <laughs> okay. Is that it? Yeah, that, that was it, Steve. You've heard it three times. I don't know what more you can get out okay. of this. No, no, it's, it's, that, that's to you know. If you think, if you think that's finished, that's fine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but do you, a, a thing that also isn't finished. We we got a bit of a, a circle jerk, XL edition or XD edition, if you will. I've I've a uh, haha lol. Ha, lol it was funny. really good, by the way. Max, circle so. jerk. Oh, jerk thank you. <laughs> so, so is this the, the the segue into the next section? Yeah, it is, Steve. Um, in this section, it's pretty much exactly what happened with you, except with everyone else. But we got a, we got a special version today, where uh, for a uni assignment, I've had to uh, get a bunch of people's opinions on a topic, uh, and then chop up all their pieces together. So I decided to do it on uh, a topic that is very dear to this podcast, which is what is the best and worst seat on the bus. Thank God. Um, oh. th- this is an extended mix. I'm going to have to cut it down for the actual assignment, but... Um, I feel like there's a lot of a lot of quality in this. This is a uh, podcast material, so I'm just gonna gonna have a listen and say what we think, you know. Let me tell you about my favourite seats on the bus. Your primary seats are going to be the seats up the further back of the bus. We have to walk up the stairs. Anywhere past there, you're getting a bit better already. The second back is is always pretty good. The seat second last to the back. That's a good seat. It's the one that I gravitate to the most. You find a seat up the back that doesn't have a pillar where your shoulder would be. It gives you a little bit more room to wriggle over. It's the prime seat. It's the second half of the bus, the fourth seat on the right. It's a nice spot, nice and elevated, you know, window seat. Always good. None of that shit that goes like over the bus wheel. So you know that seat that has the bump on it? It would be the seat just after that. Or also the seat with the bump isn't bad either. Or the seat before that. Any of those three rows is probably the best. The ones at the back where the wheel is like protruding kind of from the floor, your legs kind of get pushed up. If you sit there, you don't really have a leg room. It's a little uncomfortable to sit there. Somewhere closer to the back, but not at the very back. The the very back row, except if you're with a lot of friends. 
it's not good. Or if you're too far back, it's bumpier and also it's further to walk to get on and off. And the adults know that it's way more convenient to sit at the front, so they do. If you want convenience, disabled seats are pretty good for that. Otherwise, there's always a back door as well. You just find a seat near the back door. The one at the front is the best one because you get on, you don't have to awkwardly walk past people looking for a seat. You just jump on and then you're in your seat and then when you get off, it's right there. It's the very front of the bus. It's the worst seats. Both the front seats are just not good. <laughs> I get the appeal that like no one else can sit next to you, but there's literally no leg room. <laughs> it's just the wall and that's it. Like it's so cramped, it's small. It's just so uncomfortable sitting there. If the bus is full for everywhere except that seat, I will still just stand. I would not be caught dead in that seat. I really hate being up anywhere near the front of the bus. Anything in the first quarter of the bus. Pregnant women or disabled people or old people want, would need to sit in there and then you have to get that up. Why are you sitting in the disabled seats if you're not disabled? Disabled seats are pretty good to lay down on. I don't have a disability so I don't need to sit there. It's, it's just not logical for me to do it. The little parallel opposite ones hate them. I understand that older people or people with disabilities need them, love that for them. For me, no. The disabled three-seater in the middle seat on that one. The one where you're on the side and you have that cushion is better than being the middle one. I don't like facing it sideways. I don't know, it's, it's weird having everyone look like in your direction, you know? You're positioned so openly to the rest of the bus and usually you don't really want to talk to anyone when you're on the bus. And also because it's at the front, when people walk on, you're sort of disturbed and like you might make awkward eye contact. I would say the worst seat's got to be the one that's just after the three seats that face each other because that seat's the hottest seat on the bus. You know, someone wants that seat. That one like right behind the disabled seats. If there is no person with a disability needing to sit down or needing the space for their wheelchair, then you're just awkwardly staring at the side of someone's head near front area like near like those disabled spots or like just behind those as well it's like a whole different demographic that just goes there not not my age to be honest so you know the old people can't get up the stairs as quickly they're probably not going to sit up there i'm not talking about how much i love the back seat i'm just talking about how much i don't like the front seat the further back you go the better i don't really think about like the best and worst seats though on the bus they're all kind of Bad. I haven't really put too much thought into it before. This is not a thing people are meant to feel so passionately about. Kids are just known to sit at the back, so maybe they just follow stereotype. All the cool kids and the young youngins go in the back, you know? That's how it'd be. Alright. That oh, was God. fucking beautiful. <laughs> I know. It, is what it, is. it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> Look, alright. So, whoever the fuck said the wheel arch seat is good. <laughs> what? No one said the funniest point. Square up. That's that, gross. That was Oscar. That's the worst seat, man. The, the wheel it's arc. The worst seat. Yeah. The wheel arc. I, I meant the, the one worst. after the wheel arc. You said the wheel arc was like, bad. the wheel arch is also alright. It's not too yeah, bad. It's not, it's not bad. You're correct, mate. <laughs> it is bad. To you, but you're just it straight up wrong. It is bad. Now, did I hear <laughs> correctly? Did somebody say the front seat? Yeah, yeah. Like that. Uh, yeah, that was that was. No. Was that Eloise? No, that was um a friend who uh, you know how I volunteer for Headspace. It's a friend who also volunteers for Headspace. Said that. Oh, so well, she's a round of applause for her going. No, let's her. She's uh, completely incorrect. Clap it out. Yeah. yeah. Someone joins. I didn't know there would be <laughs> another Lachlan out there, but um, oh, other than that old man, I took a photo of. But um, uh, Headspace friend that's Helen that's is uh that's all about it, you know. She's incorrect. Helen, I love. Yeah. You. <laughs> All right. She listens. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Winky face. She listens. She will. Sit on the seat with me. <laughs> oh. yeah, only one seat. How can you fit them? Trust me, we can fit together. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. I see. It's like Tetris. You talking to me, Angus? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, well, I'm at your address to. now, so I'll be on. Yeah, man. Hit me up. So I have yours as well. Let's go. Perfect. Let's get a bus together. See you soon. Let's get a bus together. Let's make a whole video about catching buses together. I oh, forgot we were talking about that so much and we haven't done it yet. <laughs> I'm very disappointed. Steve, is this something you've ever like considered <laughs> or thought about? I'm very strongly opinionated, opinionated toward the uh, the arch seat, the wheel seat. You like the That's wheel seat? Right there. Yeah. Oh, what? No, well, I'm a short dude, so That's I I like the uh, nice nice leg uh, elevation there. Like it yeah. gets the blood flowing. It's just squash, man. Um, 
No, how, I like how tall. Yeah. How tall? Remember, he's short. I'm like, oh, yeah, uh, right. what's what's one six seven in in inches in feet? In foot. Ooh. One six. That's pretty tall. Like six feet. No, you still, still have no. Like one feet. seven five is five nine. One six and seven. Five nine's eight. average, so that's like below average. Five seven. That's that's yeah. that's five five. Yeah. <laughs> Zonk. Midget. So it works. Yeah, well. <laughs> I'm short too. I just sort of like the sea. Yeah. yeah, me too. Yeah, I mean, do it. Yeah, I like it. Well, it depends where I'm traveling to. Sometimes I like to be close to the action if I'm ca uh, catching a. Uh, <laughs> close to the action. Yeah, we're all shotgun. Right. is my bus. favorite bus ever because you always have a fucking story to tell after that shit. Like one time, you know how people collect uh, fucking um, what is, what's it called like those bottles for woolies and shit. Oh yeah. I saw this junkie fucking collect a surfboard bag, uh, a mountain backpack, like one of those hiking Kathmandu ones. That's a good one. Um, like like in a surfboard bag as well. You know, like they're they're fucking huge. That was all full, and they just like squeezes through the fucking tiny door. Um, he had another bag as well. I can't remember what it was, but it was basically fucking. I don't know. Bless it was you. it was just carrying a fuck ton of bags and uh, filled up the whole oh, front area. It was good, and it was yelling about the Parramatta eels or some shit, and uh, <laughs> oh, got in a really oh, heated, no. heated argument about, uh, about NRL. And uh, fucking took out my headphones and just watched uh, Havoc. Uh, it's great. I fucking, I fucking I love it. Mighty Gazer. Champion. I, I probably. Bus rides. Yeah. Uh, slight, slight tangent. I probably shouldn't be saying this as I've been hired by the Manly Sea Eagles to DJ a few times and very much want to again, but the players are fucking gronks. Like, they are the most <laughs> immature, like, just adults I've ever come across. Like, in Soundcheck, it's not. I don't. There was never any doubt about that, was no. it? Like, I like every, every gig, yes, every time one of them comes up, they're just like, oh, DJ! And they just, like, push all the oh. buttons and shit. Like, it's a fucking. <laughs> like, like, you're a fucking <laughs> adult that earns so fucking much. Yeah. They just get. Look, mate. Like, but also, I love you, Manly Seagulls. Please give me more money. Um. Yeah. Hey, if you're paying to get dropped in your head, you have like three brain cells in total, so you're fine. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can't remember who that Aussie comedian was, but he he caught a bus with um with the Parramatta Eels or some shit, and mm -hmm. uh, they're basically just like on a bus ride or something. He gets hired for like some gig, uh, and like this is on the way to a, a final or some shit. On the way, he's like warming him up uh, on the bus ride. And uh, they're just like, oh, show us your dick, like on the, on the whole fucking bus, oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> show us your dick. Like, what comedian was that? I can't remember. Oh, Carl um, Baron? Maybe Carl Baron? Baron? No, I don't think it was Carl Baron. No, uh, uh, internet dude. Um, yeah. Funny beard man. Uh, Isaac, Butterfield? Well, Isaac, Isaac Butterfield? Isaac Butterfield? Isaac Butterfield, yeah, that's it. Oh, I fucking hate uh, that Isaac guy. Butterfield. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I completely oh, believe that shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. Did he did he then show he actually, him? That? Did he, he his, yeah, yeah, he got naked for him and he fucking they were losing their shit. Yeah. Yeah. What a simp. <laughs> what a fucking simp. Imagine pulling your cock out for people asking for it. No. Ah, uh, 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 only for the boys. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, wow. Any more passionate comments about the NRL or the bus? They go hand in hand, don't they? There are only a couple of good seats on the bus. <laughs> Today, actually, I got on the bus, and yeah. because of this whole uh, this whole virus thing, it's pretty crazy. I don't know if you guys what? have heard of this virus thing. I know, I don't know. It's just it's this new thing in the news. Sorry, I've been watching the news. Um, which one? <laughs> yeah. Which oh, virus? Uh, They're actually trying to flatten the curve. Uh, have you guys heard about Kony? That was. about Coney 2012? It's crazy. Dude, crazy. <laughs> 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 I want you to today. stop him. Dude, did you know when it gets <laughs> to the year 2000, the computers are going to explode, dude? We have to watch out yeah. for that shit. Oh! Dude, what's it called? A little... I don't even have one. So I don't have no. one. Have you guys heard of this Black Death? Ye old Black Death. It's like, uh, it's a kind of plague. Lachlan, what was your side note? And then we can uh, I, yeah. stop interrupting well, I mean, Angus. Two seconds. I th I think Coney is still out there. I don't think he ever got No, caught. he died ages ago. He died before Coney 2012. Bruh. Did he? Yeah. Oh. They released that campaign, and it was already dead like fucking six or something years ago. No, really? Yeah. He's still alive. He's 59, and he's in Uganda. Yeah, what the hell? No. Yeah, My he... dude's confirmed dead. I don't know. Uganda forever. 
I've seen the internet historian. I know the facts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. I am the knowledge holder because I watch historians. Angus, what knowledge were you holding when you sent those two pictures of the bus seats? Oh, I do lost all of my knowledge, but I'll tell you about the bus seats. Um, <laughs> today, because of the, because of the virus and it's all quiet and shit, I, I stood up the back of the bus and took photos of some of the good seats on the bus. Um, oh, wait, this is these a real are some photo? of the good. Se- yeah, no, <laughs> no, it's, I did it in uh, some animation software. No, this is a real photo, real life moments that happens. Whoa. Um, I know, right? It's crazy. In the action. In the action, exactly. Uh, on the. On the battlefield, as they say. Um, <laughs> Epic. So these are the these are the prime seats in the bus. These ones here, in my opinion, are the are the only good seats. And there's like they mirror them on the other side, of course. So that six good ones. Um, these are the only good seats that you can get because these one. I mean, look, this one's okay. You have a small little hump, nothing too bad. But you don't have that pillar on your shoulder. You just got glass. <laughs> it's just a just a good time all around. You Am I looking room. at the same photo that you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at that first photo. Do you see a pillar there? No, it's just glass. But there's just floor and what? What? <laughs> what? what? I feel like what, are you, what are you smoking, dude? <laughs> Uh, should Wait, I include? What am, I, am I looking at the? Where are we? In general chat. General oh chat. my god, my wine is expired. Where am I? Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> where are you, Renee? Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> like, where is your mind at right now? It's my. I'm just gonna play Mario Kart. Too much Moscato. What? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, those are the two. Those are the best seats on the bus. You can fight me. You can do whatever you want, but you're just going to be wrong. Should I include this new podcast? It's uh, the Masturbate episode three. Uh, (laughs) They're talking about bus seats. I hope he'll stop soon. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Does anyone have any any other jerk? I think we've exhausted (laughs) the topic of bus seats. No, we haven't. We have not exhausted the topic of bus seats. There are only some limited edition. Episode 100 will just be a compilation of every time we mention bus seats. <laughs> Episode 100, we will hire and rent a bus for a video. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Guess 100 will be a bus driver. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Mic him up. <laughs> well, we'll just an hop. actual bus driver on, this, on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. uh, and any other jerks today? You're looking at one. What the fuck, uh, dude? I feel fucking faint. That was too much, dude. I'm gonna take a sip of my yeah. water. Everyone's energy all of a sudden just went poof. Bruh. Yeah, the fucking vitamin C's wearing off. Oh, gummies, the gummies. You're on. You're on the bed. <laughs> I'm gonna come down. Oh, it's starting to turn into an addiction. <laughs> 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 Yeah, but... I smash about a pack of gummies a day. <laughs> <laughs> Been doing gummies since I was thirteen. Haven't haven't turned back, mate. Let, let's uh what are you pick for? <laughs> gummies. Let's pick the energy back up, Steve. Ooh. The uh, uh. Mm. How do you feel about that? Okay. Thing? It was gonna I like that one. one. I like that one. Yeah, if, if it kept going, I would have, I would have, I would have done something. That's that's actually my favorite one as well, Steve. Yeah, no, I like that one. I like oh. that one. It's got a good energy, Max. Oh, thank I'm you. Freestyle over that. I'm I'm yeah. waiting for a for an extended cut. Hell yeah! I could I could make one, send it to you yeah. both, do a freestyle competition. Ooh. Yeah. Right, um, but but <clears throat> speak. We're not talking about the future. We're talking about the past because people have said things on this podcast. And bro, Steve, it happened. It did happen. Corona <laughs> happened. <laughs> ah, never heard of it. That's my favorite sound. Ooh. <laughs> Are you rubbing the mic oh. against your beard, Steve? Is that your audio more? just went to complete. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, have you guys heard this new song by Steve? You ready? Yeah. Oh, he's talking. Steve, your mic is like big time crackle. I have no idea what you've oh, done, yeah, but right. it sounds like a. There's still, there's still a bit of crackle residue, but I can make out words. 
Uh, uh, no, no words. <laughs> just crackle. <laughs> I just turned on a phantom power. Is this good? That's great. Yep. Oh, oh, I spoke too oh, soon. Oh. Wait, is it is it fucked? It uh, needs new it's XLR. fucked on and off. Oh shit. Okay. Well, it's fucking now. Oh, now it's fine. Yeah. Just don't touch. Hello. Yeah. Oh, I think okay. I think yeah. we're good. Okay, Steven, we are back. How how do you feel about? What's up, forum? <laughs> have Have you heard the episodes of this podcast before? Um, I watched the one with Daniel because I was curious. All right. Do you, Do you disagree with things said? Uh, I didn't watch enough of it. I watched like maybe like the first oh, ten minutes. Oh boy! <laughs> do you not have a comeback, Steve? <laughs> do, what? Do I not have a comeback? It's alright, Steve. This is how my episode works. <laughs> <laughs> well, some, something I did say in in the first episode, which I haven't had to pull the card out yet, but considering we've ex- talked about bus seats. Um, I had the hot take in the first episode uh, that uh, I Love You Jesus by Trisha Paytas is a good song. Are you aware of this song? I haven't heard, No, I haven't. Can you play it in chat? Yeah, I can. Uh, you I get feel like, like, a, like a Discord bot or something to play it. I should, yeah. This this is actually... This this has worked out well because we've kind of accidentally established a gag where you're um, uh, reviewing songs, you know? Oh okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. I also do uh, yeah, film got... film theories. If uh, if, if you guys want, you guys want to hear some, you guys want to hear these film theories? Yeah. Uh, yeah like, uh... actually likes film theories. Oh, uh, well, Lachlan, your touchy subject had a had a film in it. It had two. <gasps> yes. Well, hang on, Frozen two. That everyone has seemed to want to talk about that. Not again. I was talking about. Them. Them. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> No, talking about I'm Arctic Arctic in Japanese, much more invested in that one. What's your hot take on Ray William John- Johnson's Equals 3? Sh- uh, no, wait, that's the channel, isn't it? Yeah, what do you guys think of Equals 3? His new hit show, Equals 3. <laughs> His new hit show, Equals it's 3. It's very, very underground. I think it's going to put YouTube on the map. I think it's going to blow up. <laughs> Have you guys heard of PewDiePie? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Oh. Is that, is yeah, that, is sick that, gamer. Gamer. Brophy is? Is he from Sweden? That's where Ikea's from. He's like a Swedish Jake Paul. (laughs) (laughs) That's a take. That's a take. You guys heard of of this guy called KSI? OLGDBT or whatever. OLGDBT. Oh, we got it. Come for it. Alright, three, two, one, play. You are Jesus, my superstar. No shit. When was this uploaded? <laughs> three years ago. Only three years ago. What the uh, fuck? This isn't a main channel. This is for serious. Oh, two years ago. Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Why are we talking about the fucking Tiger King? The what? <laughs> oh yes, Tiger King. Yeah. Is this a good. bell? Is this hmm? Carol Baskin? That's what I thought. When I saw it, I was like, is that fucking Carol Baskin? That does not look like Carol Baskin. <laughs> Carol Baskin, bitch. Carol Baskin. Carol Baskin. Carol fucking Baskin. <laughs> Carol Baskin, go with that goddamn goddamn. Carol Baskin, you son of a bitch, right? You were booed out years ago. <laughs> anyway, that's, that, that's the end of the bit, guys. We... There I, I didn't get any of the Carol Baskin jokes. Uh, Neither did I, but I joined in with enthusiasm. Check, check oh, beautiful. The... She's so guilty. Who is she? Who is Killed she? her husband. She fed him to tigers. Ah, oh, oh, that's not yeah. nice. Or she put him in the meat grinder. I or get the main gist of, of, um, of yeah, Tiger Man. Yeah, or he's in the septic tank. Mm. Yeah, Red Hawk. like a cool story. Mm-hmm. Um, is, is, that, um, is that all the comeback we have? <laughs> do, you, yeah. do, you, do you have an opinion oh, on that song, Steve? Um, I'm just glad she loves Jesus. All right, <laughs> so it's, it's as <laughs> no, much as a hot take as you get. What the hell? What the fuck actually happened? Because like, I haven't seen. Obviously, I haven't really like watched her content. I just watched the the drama and shit that happens. But mm. uh, interesting to see, dude. My Chemical Roman- Romance. Did his mic? She's done a lot die. of covers of uh, of odd songs. Does she? It's uh, it's interesting. Doesn't she like uh, sell pussy pics on OnlyFans or some shit? I don't know. It's it's yeah. I don't know. She lives a fucking interesting life. 
That's for sure. Yeah. All right. Anyway. <laughs> Do you know what else on. is interesting? I'd say a good old scenario. This is so fast paced. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, how, how long have we been recording? Oh, 37 minutes. We're wow. actually, actually. Yeah. It's pretty fast. So the butt fight will take an hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is the segment uh, where we, we build on a story each week. Each week, someone just gives a big old sentence uh, and it builds and builds. Are you aware of this, Steve? I'm I'm not I am now though. <laughs> I fucking Damn it. I sent you all the shit, Steve. What's going on? I've I've, I've been busy. <laughs> all right, you said you I haven't been busy. You area. had a whole been busy establishing thing. Max. Very important. <laughs> I'm just waiting to be busy. <laughs> you gaming, bro? Gaming takes time. Gaming doesn't happen overnight. <laughs> are we, are we Tom an angry I'm man. Sorry. I'm sorry. Tom I fucking Nook love that raccoon. Tom Nook is scum. <laughs> Hate How him. dare you. I'm building Tom an Nook empire with him, leave him alone. He's a good, he's a very humble no. businessman. Exactly. You're building the empire wait, 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 for him, wait, wait, wait. don't fall into are his trap. Me, are you telling me you're not a part of the cult of Nook? <laughs> the cult of Nook? This is a really <laughs> fucking weird episode. <laughs> like, <laughs> what is... I'm um, only getting so like every second scenario? reference. <laughs> yeah. That every second one, that's pretty good, man. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go back to playing Animal Crossing on my Nintendo 3DS. But Steve, before before you do, really? if if you look at the no. text channel, the scenario, you'll see that every week uh, people have added a sentence to the story that's yay long. We're gonna all read the sentence, and then you're gonna add a sentence to the end, and then you're gonna repeat that sentence every single week. Whoa. Okay. That's crazy. Whoa. No pressure, but don't Whoa. fuck it up, okay? Yeah. So we're we're, we're gonna talk through, and uh, you're you're gonna you're gonna fucking have a good think about so what the fuck say, you're gonna say. Whatever I say now, in the span of like a few minutes, is gonna be said for the rest of uh, well for the, the next. Correct. It's supposed yeah, no, to be for the remaining ninety nine. Coherent episodes. with the story. Correct. <laughs> okay. Are, are you ready? You ready? I think so. Think All you right. Can handle sure. that, Steve. Uh, uh, I'm quaking. I don't know. Yeah, let's go. Hey, he sat silent in the room, cocking his hands and licking his shoe. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. He grabbed his torch, went to the window, and shone it out to see what was out there. Alas, the window mirrors his reflection. Suddenly, he heard a noise and lost his erection. <laughs> Startled, he turned. His eyes searched within the darkness of his room for the saucer. Suddenly, the door flew open. It was his mum. He pulled his pants up and hid under the bed. With the echo of the second set of footsteps, his face turned red. Just as he thought he was in the clear, a team of special ops forces burst through the wall in an abrupt, deafening bang. Suddenly, come. <laughs> 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 yes, finally. Yeah! <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Thank god, poor guy has been, been holding that thing in for a little bit. <laughs> I was wondering about that, like, this guy. He's just, he's he just was on edging edge. himself. <laughs> exactly. Poor guy. <laughs> why, why is Unintentionally he? edging himself. And then special up forces. <laughs> um, so, I can't wait to see right. where, uh, where it goes next. Yeah, yeah so... Do we have a clue as to who's on next week? Um, I will say, the person who's on next week was in that uh, bus seat snippet that I posted. <gasps> that lady! Oh. It's one of the voices. It's not, he it's not Headspace Helen. Is it Helen. Carol Baskin? <laughs> it's yeah. not Carol Baskin. <laughs> Carol, Carol bitch. Baskin! Son of a bitch, <laughs> Carol Baskin! <laughs> it's yeah, one of the others. Tank. Is it Trish Is it Helen? It's, oh, it's, it's, no, it's neither of those people. Whoa. Is it... Wait, you know someone named Helen? I do. Is it Helen Keller? Helen <laughs> it's not Helen Keller. Uh, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Dallin, yeah. but it's... I said Dallin, Daniel. <laughs> it's not Helen <laughs> Keller. Yeah, I've never heard of her. Has she heard of me? <laughs> uh, oh. You would hope not. Uh, she might have seen your picture. Uh, oh. Also oh. not. <laughs> I don't get any of these jokes. No, no, Is it the no, trainer no, from Helen Wii Fit? Is it the, the Wii Fit trainer? 
Who is Carol Basket? Why does she care? She's a bitch! Touchy subjects. Steve. Touchy subjects? This is touchy subjects. This should be the easiest one for you to contribute to, I reckon. Okay. Because Why? this one has no boundaries. It's no. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's pretty easy. He said two words, to be fair. Maybe that is maybe that is easier to contribute to. But, but this one is just... A hot take about absolutely anything in the world, Steve. Just something you feel passionate about, something that you stand by, you know, it, 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 no, no, don't let anything hold you back. Just fucking get it out there. You feel? You're asking for, like, a lot of human integrity here, and I don't know if I can match these expectations. You know what, Steve? <laughs> Just that sigh of relief. <laughs> I don't know if anyone can. Disappointment. <laughs> Uh, hot take on something. Yeah. Um, dude, can I, Still like, have a minute? Yeah, back. you can have a minute. Flashbacks to Daniel's episode. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what, what oh, happening again. <laughs> it's about the, it's, it went about the same way. It went, uh... Oh. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Daniel, what was your hot take? Do you remember? I can't remember. Yeah, neither. The Uber driver? Oh, yes! Yeah, in the oh, the Uber oh, driver. dude. Dude, he's yeah. a real fan. Which is a thing actually, now. Everyone yeah, loves it because of their yeah, fucking distancing. It, so it sucked. I opened the front door and the dude was like, oh, sorry, can you sit in the back? It's for like your safety and mine. <laughs> what? Yeah. And I was like, fuck, slammed the door shut. And got Damn. Yeah. Really? Cool. But, then the dude, but then, best part was, but then the dude proceeded to have a conversation with me the whole ride. And then like, I was oh. on my phone. Well, I looked down at my phone. Just, someone was messaging me. He was like, Look, just let me know. Like, I don't want to bother you, but I still want to talk about this. So I was like, okay, so I had to like join the conversation again. It was a good chat though. I think he was talking about the government and coronavirus. Uh, I was like, oh, this is a great chat. I'm so glad. Bad. <laughs> okay, hand in hand. I just wanted to have. I just wanted to get my case of beer home nice and quick. <laughs> it was just, it was still cold. It's a great guy though. Still, still, cabin five stars. Champion. Beautiful. Excellent. Good bloke. Didn't do anything wrong. Looking after himself. Maybe he has kids. I mean, uh, he's pretty old. He's old. That'll be fine. <laughs> I can uh, I can understand uh, not being able to come up with uh, what defines you on the spot. What opinion? True. Really. <laughs> It doesn't have to I define you, you I just give it that gravity <laughs> as a joke, really. It can be fucking anything. It can be like, I don't like fucking pebbles. I don't like pebbles. <laughs> you may, you may not oh, what's wrong with pebbles? <laughs> <laughs> it's Max, you've had nothing, Pebbles. Yeah, I got something. Okay. There you go. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and say, jump cut. But what if communism wasn't given a fair go? I didn't even give any fucking thought into that ad, but... <laughs> what? Okay. Um, next segment. Anyway, what do you mean? <laughs> like, <I'm> just... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like, communism, I mean, like, no, I... communism is good on paper. Yeah, yeah. on paper. <laughs> and Daniel is the <laughs> first person who's <laughs> ever said that. Communism is great on paper, but you can't have communism because with absolute power becomes absolute corruption. responsibility. Great yeah. responsibility. <laughs> no, not great responsibility. It comes <laughs> <Spider -Man. laughs> absolute problem. Yeah. How about, how about, how about this? How about this? Capitalism's gone too far. Gone too far? Is... Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, I can agree. Like, that's, that's I don't know if that counts as a touchy subject yeah. if everyone agrees with it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, one. No, it's... I don't know. I, I... But it's the one we got. Yeah. So. I don't know. I what need, are you going to do? I need something. Oh, I need man. Some time. Maybe just how, some... how would we just give communism a go? How do you just decide? You know what? Let's give Red Hot a go. See how it goes. The thing is, there's, there's not really much of a way to combine everything we know about so many different social constructs together. Because, like you said, with power is going to come uh, some corruption. Great responsibility. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just, I just don't know how to feel. Uh, cinema's dead. How about that? Oh, yeah, that is good. a good topic. I like that one a lot. Fucking dead. That's okay. Really yeah, agree. So, so give us dead. a lay down on that. Well, when was the last time you guys watched a movie? Today. And how frequently? Like, went to the like, movies? Like, Sorry, what, yeah. I mean, watch, the, watch the feature film. Yeah. I feel like right now it's not a great time to ask that one. <laughs> true, true, true. Yeah. <laughs> Or it is, because everyone's at home. Whole day at the well, then, I think we can all agree, though, that yeah. the frequency of people, you know, visiting theaters is dying. 
Like no one's yeah. going. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. I think uh, another another issue on top of that is a lot of a lot of no movies are being that. sent straight to streaming services like uncut gems and stuff. Yeah, yeah. 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 But you think that also that there's a potential that um, feature the like the abundance of feature length films will decrease because people's attention spans are getting shorter. Oh, I think, but what, and also no, you can make you can is. you can make a lot more money out of a series than you can a feature film. Mm, yeah, and with the way yeah. that streaming platform services are going, um, to keep people hooked, um, on their service, it's better that they lay out a series of of shows rather than a feature film. Well, you look at these in a longer run. It's the only way for independents to really make their sort of spotlight in the industry. I think because all feature films are basically just uh, franchises series or or yeah. uh, owned by disney basically yeah 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 you look at the so, avengers and like marvel and all that they like look at what they've built with yeah. the, uh, all their movies but then they're gonna start <laughs> their tv shows on disney plus that they're streaming. yeah yeah falcon yeah. and the winter soldier and all that all that jazz so i is the general consensus that cinema is dead but also that tv is what killed cinema no, video killed the radio straight. star, though. Yeah, and I guess it's the first star, person who said but... that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but... I think... Yeah, I think... Yeah. Like, I think... You, when, you, when you used to go to, like, Civic Video, Video Easy, Blockbuster, that wasn't killing cinema, but as soon as streaming services came up, and you yeah, had, like, things coming on, like, not going through cinema and that. Yeah. Do you reckon it's soon, close, like, all movies are going to start going straight to like streaming services yeah oh, and eventually yeah. netflix will own everything no. or disney will just fucking no. buy yeah. the thing is i, I think it's like still no. a design yeah i no, feel like I film people know. are just too pretentious yeah. to to allow that to happen especially with things like uh you know like something highbrow like uh the academy you know like the oscars the grammys and yeah. all that i don't yeah. think I feel like i feel like it will start coming to streaming services all right, see you, Lachlan. I think <laughs> it'll, start, it'll start coming to streaming services quicker than we are currently seeing it, but I don't right. think it'll outright just come straight there first off. I feel like it'll 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 hit the uh, it'll still go to the cinemas, and you'll still have to go watch it for the first like three weeks, but then it'll immediately come out after that. It's, it's not like how it is now, or it's like I would I would say hey, that Australia, if... we're gonna wait this long. If TV wanted to, or if streaming services wanted to really overtake cinema, they'd have to put on like quite a big fight just in the amount of content that they produce that is like as advertised as movies. Because movies get a ton more advertisement than TV or like streaming services do sometimes. And especially when every time you go to the movies, like there's posters every time you go on a streaming service there's more ads for other things on the list so it's like if streaming was to battle uh cinema just in like its actual content i would consider switching off of movies to streaming services if they had tv shows that were as good as movies I feel like, like uh, the problem as well with uh. With there are also really good though. TV shows though yeah. that are pretty well self-contained and at that you know, they 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 still maintain their integrity. It depends on the director really, but like, there's still a possibility for a TV show to be better than a movie. Is is that what mm. you're saying? Or yeah, yeah. Like um, <clears throat> HBO released uh The Watchmen this year, which was an excellent show that I love by the uh the writers of uh lost except they did it right instead of failing like they did on lost in the last season mm. the way but i yeah. see this new format of of vod you know platforms and shit all this streaming stuff is it's becoming so commercialized and because it's all run by producers and executives obviously they're going to take safe bets and i think i don't know there's not a lot of room for independence which i think is why things are starting to get more and more watered down but um like you know we're getting good shows we're getting good movies but every now and then it's not being pumped out like every week or something like the way it should be or it's it's you know it's a diamond in the rough like we might have one or two good movies tv shows that will actually get people talking um you know like every year 
but like that happens so like rarely <laughs> you know mm. it's yeah i don't know it's it's difficult i think for uh for people's original ideas to get heard out like it has to be safe for people to buy into it i think i don't know how much how much I don't watch enough shows do they lose safe. though like if everyone turns around and goes fuck it i'm doing streaming only and i'm not going to go to the cinemas how much money do in australia it's almost completely unprofitable it's crazy to invest in a, in a feature film here like it's it's oh. almost guaranteed that it will never make it follow <laughs> so pretty much every feature made here is uh is at a lot which is really fucking unfortunate so you will never get a producer that will actually genuinely invest in a feature film if you pitch it to them. But it is more likely that you'll get a series because they see it as more profitable. Um, you know, it goes back to that argument that cinema is dying. It's, I, I think everybody's on board with that idea that producers just accept the fact that Disney owns the cinema. Um, you know, they've put their dick on the table and they're, like, they're not really letting anyone else uh, uh, enter the game, I think. She... And Leave as someone as someone who owns uh, Disney Plus, they they flex. seem to try to be doing that in their streaming service as well, but they don't seem to have like enough good TV shows that are new on them. Like they have The Mandalorian, and mm -hmm. uh, that's about it. Like yeah, what else is there that people was that haven't cool, already um... seen? Uh, Jason Momoa show C. Um, I don't know if how well that did, but I saw ads for it. it looked pretty cool. I'm pretty sure it was on Apple issues. TV, isn't it? Or like that Apple. Oh, that's TV. Apple TV. Nah, yeah. fucking idiot. Yeah. What partnership Apple does TV Disney doing? have with Nat Geo? Hey. What partnership does Disney have with Nat Geo? Disney owns Nat Geo. Doesn't yeah. It? yeah. Oh, nice. They, they actually yeah. they actually have their stuff streaming on there. Yeah. No, I saw that. And I was like, oh. There you go. I'm really worried dude. about the whole Disney Monopoly. It's yeah. it's fucking terrifying. Oh, dude, I have that. Disney oh. Monopoly is my favorite Monopoly. <laughs> hey! Boys, I've received a text update from Lachlan. Oh, yeah. Oh. He says, uh, potentially, p potentially, <laughs> then in brackets, definitely bad news, the power in my whole street has just gone out. <laughs> oh. Um, oh. Surely he can join uh, Discord on his phone. Um... No excuses. No <laughs> excuses, dickhead. <laughs> Regardless. Steve's, uh, Steve says, join Discord on your phone, no excuses. <laughs> <laughs> that was a that was a good one. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Was, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was a, uh, a good... But I really think communism, that topic was... <laughs> that was maybe, fun. um... <laughs> Maybe Daniel and Steve are on the right track. Maybe thinking off the top of your head really gives you a good, touchy subject. Maybe mm. communism would allow for people, Australians to profit off um, feature films. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, I think, I don't know. I mean, obviously I'm not educated enough to fucking speak about that stuff, but, you know, fuck it, why not? Um... The way I see it is it could also inflict more integrity, I think, in a in a society, you know, because I think in, in in Western sort of culture, everyone's sort of moving very all for themselves or for their family. I think mm. communism is more like you're doing this for your nation, you're doing this for China, you're doing this for Russia, you know, it, it's just that, okay. that, that, that. Okay. And everything revolves around. But yeah, yeah. we are then. But, okay, okay. but are China and Russia good countries? <laughs> there you go. Well, they did build a hospital in six days, so. Oh, yes. Shit, so... Really? Yeah. They I still guess suck shit ass. Done. And so does North Korea. Mm. I don't know. He's a pretty attractive man running that country. <laughs> yeah, get you a man who doesn't shit. <laughs> it's pretty hot, dude. No crime cases over there, so, like, you know, they're, they're doing well. Yes. Again, it, it can't According work because of, <laughs> every time because they have one, immediately the cases disappear. <laughs> the cases just don't. Exactly, it's that good. They're like, fantastic. Shit all we need to learn from them. You want an efficient country? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's basically what it is. It's just, yeah, an efficient country, but it's fucked. Someone's got coronavirus. Yeah. Blam! Flex tape. <laughs> Have, have you guys oh, seen man, um, Dark Tourist, the Netflix series? No. It's a, a, Wait, a what? fucking strong... It's a New oh. Zealand um, documentary reporter 
and he basically goes and sees like the dark ends of the world. So he visits North Korea. He visits uh, all this shit underground. I think he visited somewhere underground in Bosnia uh, or somewhere. I can't remember, but um, he visits literally billionaire dollar countries that hoard all this money and build palaces with like a population of 30. And he gets very, very limited visas in there to document what's going on in there. So fucking interesting how corrupt people are. Fuck. Mm. But um, no, I'd, I'd strongly recommend that shit. It's, it's really, really good. He visits, um, I don't know, he goes all over Russia and crazy people eating mutated fish and oh geez. Yummy. Wild, oh well wild. speaking of recommending stuff no no way no we've done it, sure. we've, what is it? we've finished the pot we what no we're <laughs> halfway there <laughs> all right daniel are you playing portal no i'm playing portal <laughs> how's it going <laughs> portal portal one or two uh, Portal 1. Uh, okay. okay. This is the fourth time I've played it. Today? <laughs> no, no, just in my life. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> just playing yeah, Portal. Oh, no. <laughs> is this podcast not entertaining enough for you, Daniel? No, I'm just like... You have to turn to the it. source yeah. engine. <laughs> Multitask at the same time. That's true. I'm gonna play yeah. CSGO, I thought... I'm down for some CSGO after the podcast if you boys want to have no, a I'm some, I'm what, what are your so ranks? Good. What are your ranks? I'm so I'm shit. Far. I haven't played in years. God, I've never master Matt. <laughs> Man, that's fucking yeah, lame. I, I used to be an LEM, but I fucking... I'm like... Trash. I'm a god. <laughs> anyway, back to the podcast. Well, uh... It's so communism. I, I have been thinking maybe uh, for the butt plug, the guests should plug their shit first. Um, <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Yeah, let's do that. Like a three-hour segment. Yeah, Steve, what do you have to plug? To plug. Yeah. Yeah, we'd have to promote you. Promote, Matt. Fuck. Uh... It can be anything as well. Literally anything. Dude, I got nothing. I got no plug. <laughs> you can so plug what nothing. If, what about I have... communism? What if you plug that? I, I, this episode is sponsored by communism. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Communism oh, will be linked in the description. Make sure you hit that shit up. Um, I'm gonna plug. Are we gonna? No, no. Okay. Are we? I'm, I'm gonna plug out uh, the the Mastagram on Instagram. The the beautiful Instagram of this podcast. We've just hit twenty followers. <laughs> Do you want? To... <laughs> we all celebrate. Uh, I don't have one on me. Sorry. Oh yeah, so. I was gonna crack a. We can all crack <laughs> a bit. So let's. With let's we. we every, I feel like every week we talk about putting shit on that Instagram, and we're never gonna actually do it. But this week we no, are gonna actually do it. Up, Mark my words. Max, Max, we're building up hype. That's what we're doing. That's true. <laughs> we'll we'll start posting proper <laughs> shit when we get a hundred followers on it. <laughs> yeah. Get yeah. on that shit. <laughs> post postponed by coronavirus. Uh, I'm also gonna plug the new Joyride album because it's fucking amazing. Joyride just released oh, an album yeah. called yeah. Brave. Listen to that I shit. Know. I highly recommend I yep. Slay, RTTB, Brooklyn, the whole fucking mm-hmm. thing. Just listen to it start to finish. released Dan after all these years. Dan. Yeah, good shit. All right, Angus. Howdy. Um, I want to plug my Instagram as always. Yeah, I don't post anything there, but go give me a follow. Um, I also want to plug this time of crisis to go and uh, get yourself out there, find your local music store, and learn an instrument. You got plenty of time in your hands. Don't Buy instruments. Well. What instrument do you recommend? I recommend buying yourself a classical guitar. They're very they're not they're not too expensive. They're pretty easy to start out. You're not going to hate yourself. Your fingers won't hurt. So, I think it's a great way to get into playing guitar. After that, you can go to a steel string or you can go to an electric. It really depends on what your budget is and where you want to go with the music. Um, go out there, get yourself a guitar, get yourself a drum kit, get yourself a bass or a ukulele. They're pretty cheap. They're nice and fun. Uh, learn something. Don't, don't do nothing with your time. Do something. Go on. Do it. Do you get Do it. If you do it, do you'll get it done. Go. Get, go get that shit done. Yeah. Um, Lachlan has texted me. It doesn't look like he's coming back, but he has uh, texted me what his plug is. And his plug is um, the enduring power of the human spirit. 
So, um, a, a beautiful plug from Lachlan there. I'm also going to, on top of that... What a lame butt plug, <laughs> Jesus. I'm, <laughs> I'm also going to plug his Instagram, at sudsies underscore, because, again, he, po he posts good shit. Jacob. Ah, uh, okay. Two HBO shows that came out this year or last year, I can't remember. Watchmen and His Dark Materials. His Dark Materials is the adaption of the... Uh, his Dark Materials series of books, and Watchmen is a spin-off continuation of the classic cult movie and comic book series written by and painted by DC. Is it set after the movie, the show? Yeah, absolutely. Oh shit, is it like same universe? Yep. Bruh. Huh. Rorschach they is the best fucking the character. Deal with the aftermath of the, uh, of the squid Rorschach and guy? all that. Yeah. Ah, uh, but he returns in a particular way. He doesn't return, he's dead. But he's his imagery is in the show, which right. you, should, you should check out. That's such a good fucking character in that movie. Mm. Yeah, Sam. I'm plugging Need for Speed Hate. That game is Bruh. fucking a hectic, brother. <laughs> I yeah. really Are should get that. Are playing right now? Playing that right now, yeah. <laughs> uh, um, it's, yeah, pretty good game. Check it out. We do kind of got online. some gamers in this podcast, though. Kind of gaming though, yeah, it's yeah. pretty. Weird. I should. I'm I think quiet. I'm gonna get that game and play with you, Sam, because I keep it, seeing dude. you play it and it looks mm. fucking insanity. So mm, yes, I'm a big yeah. fan of those games. Mm. Liam, uh, me and a mate make a bakery on the latest Wish Mash People podcast. That's pretty much it. Hell yeah, yeah. beautiful Jenny. Um, I don't have anything to plug. <laughs> Ah. So I'm gonna plug nothing. Hell yeah, Daniel. Oh, I'm so fucking lost in portal. Um, <laughs> 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 but I'm gonna plug. Um, oh yeah. Um, so make sense events. The events company that I run uh, with a couple of mates. Uh, we're gonna do a live stream this Friday night. Uh, from Jacko's Why not? Hell yeah. Uh, wait, what day is it? No, it's Monday. Tomorrow It'll be tomorrow night tomorrow. from when this podcast is Thursday. Out. Oh, right. Yeah, tomorrow night. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. So tomorrow night, um, around 7 o'clock, um, check it out. It'll be on our Facebook page. <laughs> Hey guys, Max here with a little little note from Post. Uh, this podcast went up a week late, so the live stream already happened, but uh, you, can, you should still check out Make Sense Events. I uh, put their links in the description. They're not going to be doing any in-person events soon, but maybe more live streams coming up, so a lot of fun. Go check that shit out. Actually, and, um, um, yeah, it should be good. We're going to play some bangers. Um, fuck we'll yeah. we doing some dumb stuff. I'm probably just going to sit there and drink a case. Um, I like yeah. this. Oh, what? Where's my stuff <laughs> as well? Um, but yeah, should be good. Oh, so stay tuned for that if you want some Friday night bangers to dance dance your way away to. And I also made a really funny meme of it today. <laughs> um, like a, <laughs> uh, promo thing oh, I made it last night. Mm. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I Beautiful. had to plug. I should have recorded some of it, but the other night on um my group's <coughs> Discord, I did a DJ set for two and a half hours, yeah, uh, that's hot. Yeah. which which went off. So yeah, join Daniel's Make Sense live stream. It's it's gonna be a fun time. Uh, Brian, um, pretty much just plug my Instagram, be Torres Brian, and I'll plug my YouTube, which is B two dash two, and that's it. Hell yeah, Renee. Um, there's a Spanish film on Netflix that just came out recently called Platform, and it's super, uh, kind of disturbing, but it's really interesting, and it's about, like, a vertical prison, and they have, like, gourmet food sent down on a platform every, like, once a day, um, but because it's a vertical prison, the people at the bottom might not get any food, because people are selfish, so you guys should go watch that. Hell yeah. Good shit. Mm. Oscar. Uh, I'm going to plug a TV series called Better Call Saul. It's on stand right now. It's a spin off of a prequel spin off of the series Breaking Bad. Wow. Yeah, really sick. Um, you can just get a free trial of Stan if you want to. So, yeah. Hell yeah. I'm also going to plug uh, Hong Kong protesters and anti communism. <laughs> 
shit. We're sponsored by both communism and anti-communism on this podcast. Yeah. And democracy. Yeah. Is, is there a chance we can actually get, like... Because you, you hear... St- I mean, this podcast isn't big enough to have any impact, but you hear, like, people saying shit about communism and then they get banned from China and shit. Like, I think PewDiePie yeah. made a joke about communism we'll, we'll and he's banned, banned from China. From China. <laughs> yeah. If China, I if China, no association with these people, I would still like to travel to China. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any any words to close this podcast, Steve? Do 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 do.